all of the tests this weekend are super fun. Um, they're a little bit more high skilled and like more weight, which I just think is gonna be so much fun for us to do. So the quarterfinals were announced at like 1.30 um, Thursday, and so we decided to get a couple of them out of the way. We did the front squat first while we were fresh and feeling good so we could really get our max. And then we also did the handstand push-up workout. That one was a lot of fun. Not very difficult. Kind of got like the two like easier ones out of the way. And then if we want to retest our front squat, we have time to do that. The test one was the handstand push-up workout. Tia and Brooke went head to head again and they smashed it. It came down to just transitions. With the top end feel of the athletes, it's about transition becomes a new movement for them to do as well. So seeing them go from station to station with aggression and intent is very, very important in a workout like the event one. I think it was maybe like a week or two ago, we did 50, 40, 30, GHD pistol, and then like seven, five, three rope climb. So it's crazy we did something so similar. I feel super ready and prepared for this one coming up. So I wasn't like too nervous about it because I've done a lot of GHD and pistol volume recently. But the issue was the GHD volume and the pistol volume into the rope climbs. It made the rope climbs extremely difficult. Like I didn't have any abs or legs to help me get up the ropes. So it was just that combination completely wrecked that workout. Fortunately, Brooks created a foundation where she can use moments like this as a test or a progression to see what we need to do in order to prove it. So I'm just gonna go like eat, compact, and just get ready to do this again. Uh, I feel like that one snuck up on you. I feel like this is like the theme of the weekend. They kind of sneak up on you more than you would expect. I planned to touch and go the snatches a lot more than I ended up touch and going. When you're in the middle of the workout and you're like dying, it's kind of easier to just do quick singles and get your heart rate back down. 135 got heavy for sure. And burpee box jumps on a 30 inch box, like women don't do that very often at all. I had to make sure that I was ready to jump an extra 10 inches each time, which definitely caught up with me. But all around, I think it was a good workout. I might think about doing it again because the plates that I use are competition plates and they're super bouncy. My bar was just kind of bouncing all over the place. It's not that I like feel like I need to redo that. I also think I could learn something from this workout. So I might test it again on Sunday. We're four out of the five workouts done. So we have one more to do in the morning, and then if we want to, we can redo this one on Sunday. During competition weekend, it's super important to like recover as best as you can. And it starts with nutrition and sleep for sure. And then I also do things like compacts and like stretch. Um, just so my body 
twice, like, the best that I can. Yeah, I'm ready to, like, hit this last one so we're done. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to be done. I got no drip in my pocket. Must have forgot it, or maybe I already lost it. Don't got enough to go cop it. I'm about to take off like a rocky. Oh, Houston, we might have a problem, but that don't mean money will solve them. Yeah, that don't mean money will solve them. Should we break it up into three sets and just be smart because we knew that it wasn't one on the more balls. So then from there, it wasn't until this morning where we both came in and were like unbroken. And we were just like, let's just send it. We trained more balls so much that it wasn't that bad. Yeah. It felt pretty good going on the rower. And I mean, we knew it was all about the rower. Yeah. Brooke just smashed my arms and um, I got her on one. One in the row and a wobble workout. I'm not going to let this one down. So I decided to redo the snatch workout. It's the only redo that I'm doing. Mostly just because I think that there's like different strategies you can do and I kind of want to learn which ones suits me best. So I know moving forward. I haven't like fully committed to singles, but I think that I'm going to do quick singles instead of trying to touch and go. T and I did this one after the rope climb workout and all the boys just rested. So we're the only ones that have done it. So. I'm gonna watch the boys go first. I think most of them are gonna be doing singles and that'll kind of help me make up my mind if that's what I wanna to commit to. Say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Uh, uh, never yeah. rehearse. Jump in it first. Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse. Uh, uh, this is absurd. Take the berserk. Don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve. Don't got a nerve, man. I never curse. Just casting these spells when I'm spelling these words. That's real. That's real. That's too that's real. Too real. I've been Roosevelt. I need a new deal. Trying to figure out what I should do still. Do still. Really never waiting here too still. Too still. By two seconds. So. Is that worth it? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I did it again. If I didn't redo it, I would have been thinking about it. So I get a little bit of time off. Actually, getting my wisdom teeth taken out. So that's the next thing. I'm really glad it's over. It was fun though. Instead of just like coming in here and training, it's fun to kind of get in here and do what we train for all the time. It's just gonna be amazing to see how much we improve. 